Hello Tree Church Nursery and Tiny Tots Volunteers. Guys, we have made some major changes that you're gonna experience on Sunday morning. So it's gonna feel different. I know change is hard sometimes, but guys, these are improvements because we are busting at the seams with kids. We had 427 kids in children's ministry. Is that amazing? God is blessing our ministry and bringing families. And I am so excited about that, guys. And I know that you are too. But with that expansion is going to come some changes as we try to adjust as we go into Easter. We're trying to make sure everything it runs smoothly and is as convenient for us, for you, and for our uh, congregation as possible. So, nursery, tiny tots is a little bit different. Two-year-old tiny tots room used to be on the end of the three rooms. It is now the very first room. So this is the two-year-old classroom tiny tots now. We did this because there's more usable space in here. It's not a whole lot bigger than the other room, but it is a little bigger. But there's a ton of usable space outside of the panels that make it, we think, be able to hold more kids. Tiff's going to walk in and show you if she's filming for us. Say hi, Miss Tiff. Hello. So it's just a more usable space. So everything that was in your tiny tots room is now in this first room, guys. So you will come in here to serve. We've pulled these panels in a little bit tighter for you. So just make sure you keep it shut so the kids can't get back here. We do know there has been an issue with some kids getting to the handles on the door and getting them um, out into the commons during service. Mr. Steve put these wonderful things on for us so the kids cannot push down. And you'll be able to see this. It's pretty self-explanatory, guys. But you press on both sides and just push that down and then you could open the door yourselves. And just make sure once you start a class, you lift that back up so that the kids can't come over and open the door. So they're not gonna be able to escape on you, right? All right, so that's a great new addition to the rooms. Let's go back out in the hall, Miss Tiff. We're gonna talk about nursery and, so the two rooms that were the nurseries, the zero to one-year-olds and then the one up to two-year-olds. So when you come in, people are gonna line up here. We're gonna have people out here helping people understand the changes for a few weeks. So they'll be telling people where to go, but you guys also, if you're a door worker, say up right here. And so we are gonna check in at both rooms. So this is the babies, zero up to a year. 11 months. 11 months, Ms. Tiff says. Zero up to 11 months are gonna check in here with you. If they are 11 months up to two years, they're gonna check into the second nursery mm -hmm. here. So this was what used to be Tiny Tots is now the toddlers, the, the up to one year, or one to up to two year olds. Everything that was in your other room is in there. So it's gonna look and feel a little bit different, but everything that you need was moved over. So um, if you are in Tiny Tots, that TV is now in the other room for you. Mm -hmm. Everything that you need is is there. Um, what else, Miss Tip, do they need to know? When do they pick up, guys? They're gonna, We're gonna go pick this up way. here. So they're gonna come heading towards the double doors of the, of the children's ministry. So security will be here on the right as normal. They'll come in and they'll they'll drop off. <clears throat> Same thing for pickup. They'll wait in line here. They'll drop off. So if you're at the door and you can see somebody standing there, say, hey, if you guys have a, a zero to one year old, we're down here now. Come on over and get them checked in. Um, these spaces in here, we've just tightened this up so you have more room in the room. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't need a lot of space. The oh, light oh. shuts off automatically on us. There we go. This is just tighter. Uh, so you have more usable space in the rooms. We've really tried to focus on usable space. Uh, so that you have room for all the kids we're having. Um, guys, just be patient. Give us grace. If there's things that don't work, just tell us. We expect there are going to be some issues. We don't think it'll be major things. We're trying to think everything through, but things happen. Just let us know. We'll correct them. Let us know if they work. Sometimes we'll say, this has to be this way, and we'll tell you the reason why. Um, so just communicate with us. Try not to get frustrated. Give us grace. Give each other grace. Um, and then just work with people as they drop their kids off and, and pick their kids up. Um, and we just want to do the same thing. I, I know uh, we're volunteers, but it is a customer service job, whereas we want people to feel like their kids are safe when they drop them off because they are. So put on your smiles, be kind, be friendly, understand that people have been rushing in from fights and rushing in from all the stuff that Satan does to families on Sunday morning. I believe he does. I believe he causes frustration to make it hard for people to get here. So just be gracious and be mindful of that. Guys, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to text me, email me, get a hold of Miss Tiff or Miss Danielle, text or email them, and we will fix everything. Guys, I don't get to talk to you very often in this part of the ministry, but I think about you, I pray for you every week, 
and I think about you all the time as we talk about systems and things we're doing. We couldn't do this without you. So I love you. I'm here if you need me. My door is always open. I'm praying for you. I hope this goes really smooth and we say, wow, that really worked. Guys, I love you. We will see you on Sunday morning.